What's going on guys and girls? We're here playing some more Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to complete all the mission tasks for mission 21 which is called the War Economy. Now in this mission there are eight missions tasks to complete so there are going to be quite a few to get through. Most of them are pretty simple and easy. The others are just kind of like you got to listen to all the conversations and then you've got to get a blueprint off a helicopter. It's probably like the, one of the hardest ones. So what we're going to be doing is we are just going as we're extracting in we're just going to show you a couple of things so the first thing i'm going to show you is where all the conversations are going to take place so that's going to be the location for the first and the last conversation that is the second conversation and this is going to be the third conversation so what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be jumping into the mission area the area we have find the third conversation is also the area where you are going to find the mineral containers so to extract the mineral con mineral containers you are going to need a wormhole Fulton device the reason for that is because they are located with inside the hangar the airport hangar so you need the wormhole to be able to fault them because they're under shelter and basically you you can't extract them unless you have the wormhole Fulton device uh, I'm also using D Dog as we are heading over over here. It's very easy for him to help me spot a whole lot of things. It just makes this whole section a lot easier, uh, so that I don't have to worry about trying to find out where everyone is. Uh, D Dog is just going to spot them out. Anyone who's going to be a nuisance, he's going to spot them out basically. And then also, I'm using a tranquilized sniper rifle and a tranquilized pistol those are the two main things that i'm going to be using through this mission and that is basically everything that i have with me that is going to be useful during this mission so what we're going to be doing here is we just unlocked the gates you can remember uh speed up unlocking the gates by tapping on triangle or y tapping triangle or y and it'll give you a faster unlock speed and then also these guys are going to be here so we'll, what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the guy that's going to hop into this little jeep to uh, head off out of the area so we don't have to worry about him there is the security camera up there so that you have to worry about so just make sure that you don't run into that uh, otherwise that could alert everyone and that will stop you from getting the conversations this guy over here we are just going to wait for him to usually he comes past you just there you would just come past down this way of the building but because he almost gets run over by the guy in the Jeep almost every time it sometimes does change his pattern of walking around so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tranquilize him twice to, to take him out so that we can then get rid of him the only reason we're really doing that is just so that we don't run into him as we are trying to get around this area and so that he's not gonna be a little bit of a nuisance coming up behind us when we don't want him to and then we're also going to get this guy here so the room he has just come out of is also a room where you can find a cassette tape if you haven't found that uh, i already found it so i'm not going to show you it in here but if you go up to it i think it's one of the musical cassettes, cassette tapes you'll find and so once we've extracted that guy as well we are just going to head over here and we are basically all in position to listen to the first two conversations very very easily so right here I am just lying down right next to the runway in the little grassy area and I'm just going to be marking some of these guys. This guy is one of the snipers. He's going to be one of the most annoying play people in this mission. And then there are just a few other th people that I'm just trying to mark. So this is the helicopter that is carrying the arms dealer. So if you just zoom in on this side here you can actually just identify him as he comes out and that will give you one of the mission tasks that you probably already have if you have completed completed this mission before and this is also the guy other guy that you have to identify and extract he is the CFA official and he is inside that building so that's where they are going to have their conversation so what we're going to do is we're just using our binoculars to listen through the walls because of the parabolic mic allows us to do that I'm just uh, trying to uh, mark as many of these guys as possible. They're anyone that might end up walking past me. That Most of them won't actually come past me where I am right here. It's almost impossible for anyone to see you. The only people that are going to see you are the snipers on the roof and maybe the helicopter if you are silly enough to walk when he's uh, coming past. And then also when the CFA official and the arms dealer drive past after talking in the first hangar. 
So what we're doing here is we're just waiting for the conversation to start. There is a lot of waiting within this mission because there are four conversations you have to listen to. And obviously there are also problems sometimes when you have these conversations. I only ran into problems when you were trying to do the third conversation, but almost all the times it actually did happen at the conversation. It just sometimes was a little bit odd when it tried to do it. So I'm just going to let you guys listen to the conversation. So here we go. So there we go, that was the first conversation all done and we're just going to mark some other guys, so these guys are just people that may end up spotting us, we just want to make sure that we have eyes on them so that they are less likely to do that because we know exactly where they are. There are two snipers on the roof. There are one, there's one that I pointed out before and there's also one uh, at the taller part of the building in the center and you'll find him as we move across to the left. Uh, we will see him a lot more. So now all we're doing is we're just waiting. There's not much else for us to do. So this is the first conversation uh, we listen to and there is also going to be a second conversation in that room. I'm just moving the marker so that it's not right on top of the middle section of the building, the tall section, so it's a bit more where exactly the conversation is going to take place. Now we also have to identify the CFA official. We already know this guy is the CFA official, but we just have to wait until we get a good uh, spot to identify him. When he's walking towards the hangar, the first hangar is a very good easy way to identify him. And then there's also the second conversation, third conversation, that's a very good spot to identify him as well. So like I said before, there's a lot of waiting in this mission. We just have to wait for them to walk and walk and then drive a bit and then walk some more and drive a bit more and walk and walk. So there's a lot of just waiting for them to get to each position. Uh, that is basically why this video is so long because you have to do a lot of waiting. So we're now just going to identify him. So there we go. That will count as the other mission tasks. And so now all we have to do is extract them, both of them, and there will be two mission tasks. Then we get the minerals, there will be another mission task, and then we also have to listen to the conversations, another mission task, and then we have to get the blueprints. So while this is happening, I could tell you about the blueprints. We're just going to wait until the helicopter comes to pick them up because they will both try to leave. And in that time, we will take out the helicopter while it's really close to the ground. So you can always find the blueprints. And then we will um, also extract these guys who are trying to hop on to the helicopter. So now we're going to listen to the second conversation. So here we go. This is the so there we go, the second one's a very short conversation, but it just takes a while for them to get there. So now that those conversations have happened, they are now going to head to the third hangar, which is over this way, to the left. So now we just have to want to get over there, but we don't want to be spotted because these snipers are going to be also looking at us. So we want to make sure that we can move while they're not looking at us and try not to be spotted and get a combat alert and all that sort of stuff. Otherwise, we might not get the other conversations because they'll be too busy looking for me instead of doing it. So I just did try to do the roly-poly uh, sort of thing, so I didn't really... Uh, I've never really used it too much, so I was like, oh, I might as well just try it, see if it's any faster. It seems to be a bit faster moving along the ground, but it's also kind of hard to control because you can only go sideways. And we are now just going to uh, make sure we don't get spotted by the sniper again and then not get spotted by these two as they drive past. So we're just lying down and we're also in the dead, like, body position. So you just, like, lie down a little bit further. 
And now that they've passed us, we can just try and get out of uh, over here so that we can listen to the third conversation. You can probably listen to it from about here. Uh, but the reason we're moving closer is because we're also going to try and extract the mineral containers as well. So we just want to be as close as we can to that. So then we can also get the fourth conversation. So now that you're about this far away, you should be able to get out of here without uh, being spotted. You should be able to just move it along without the snipers looking at you and spotting you. And we're just going to get into a nice position so that we can listen to this conversation. Now this conversation is the one that had a little bit of trouble. It didn't, it almost always worked, but there are a couple of weird things that it sometimes does, like the, the guys start walking away from the hangar, and you're like, oh no, they're not going to have the conversation, or they'll just stand there for a while and not do anything. But eventually they always seem to make their way back to the hangar, or just end up start their conversation. So what we're doing is that's why we're just looking at them, we're just trying to pay attention to them, because you, as you can see, they're just standing there, doing absolutely nothing, even though the conversation sometimes could happen straight away, as soon as they walk out of, hop out of their vehicle. And uh, the one of the guys is actually just going to start walking away, like I was talking before, but they will eventually end having their conversation. So that's why I'm just keeping on looking at them, because I just want to make sure that I end up getting the conversation when they start talking you usually can miss like the first few sentences like a sentence or two and you'll still get the conversation like added to you because you're you're listening to the main parts of the conversation where they talk about certain things so i'm doing the rolly thing this is so good um i did i basically never used it i just never tried it and i was like oh how do you do this and i was like pressing all the buttons and if you don't know how to do that, it is using the sprint button, but you have to be, uh, have your gun out while you're doing it. So you have to be like basically aiming your gun while you press the sprint button and sideways and you'll start rolling and rolling and rolling. So there we go, as you can see, the arms dealer is just standing there waiting. The uh, CFA official has just gone for a little walkabout. I don't know why he's doing it, it's just sometimes that, that's, that's what they do. Sometimes they both go for a walk, sometimes they just stand there for a while. So as you can see, we're just waiting for that to happen, the conversation to happen. This It should happen very soon now that they're both back here. And I'm just going to let you guys listen to it when it starts. Because you have to wait a bit sometimes. Here we go. This should be the conversation. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There we go. Maybe. Yes? No? There. This is the Noordelijke Hanger. The Selle Grote. That's all fine, Bess. We have all the room here where we need. Why do we need such a big hanger? Is it not high enough that I don't know? It's not true. Come here. Come here. Jij en jou manne sal een deurslaggevende rol speel vir die volgende fase. Ons gaan die lichthawe gebruik as afzetpunt vir die verkoop van nukes. Ver, verkoop van nukes? Jy, jy is... Dis... Dis is wat ons doen. Natuurlijk is die verspreiding van kernwapens een kopsie. Maar wat as jy atoombom op enige plek kan bou, sonder specialist faciliteit, sonder hooggraad Iran, dis die nieuwe sake model. Dink net aan die markandeel wat ons kan betref. Meneer is nie ernstig nie. Ek is altyd ernstig. Jou verkoopsroutes gaan onvervangbaar wees. En om te dink, as jy nie te nukes het, sal die MPLA ook wil kry. Betaling sal uiteindelik groter myndrechte wees en dies meer. Maar sedert die oliebaron Amerika sy spoorwegstelsels verlam het, sal daar altyd een markt vir olie wees. Wie nie tussen die mand is, sal nogal een lekker feidei wees. Een <laughs> meis is een beste vriend natuurlijk, he. Dis PA vir jou. Elke sakker sy skrouwende gulfrend is deel van ons bemarkingsmaak. En die Afrikaner morps net al die geld. Koop wapens om mekaar uit te moe. Die rechte wereld. Kak snaaks, nee my broer. Oh, vertel dit vir wie ook al my vervang. Ons is oorlogmakers. Ek herken dit. Ons mag een lewe met bloedgeld. Sonder oorlog is my man een werkloos. Dis ons enigste uitweg van alle ander industrie is uit die streek verdrijf en koloniale machte wat mint slaaf. Dis omtrent al wat ek kan handreer. Toe gaat die akkals. Het jy genoeg gesien? Dra die onderzoek voorbij is. Het jy my kinshasse toepad, so ons het saam gestem het. So jy wil die kans verspeel, op die grootste bezigheidskans, wat ooit jou kan toegekom het. Is fijn met my. Iemand sal wel jou plek oorneem. Maak die sak wat ek of jy doen nie. Die getuie van die ekonomie sal sy gang gaan. Nie terwyl die groot moendiere strui oor al die rijkdom. 
So there we go, that's the third conversation uh, done and dusted. Now, because we're in this position, there is going to be this walker guy that is going to be probably the most annoying walker guy in this area. So we just have to make sure that we get rid of him without being spotted by him so that we uh, still get the fourth conversation. There is one more conversation. So this is the location of it, and it's also, also the location of the minerals. So there are three mineral uh, containers within this area. I think they are precious precious materials or something like that. And uh, what we're going to do is we are going to try and make sure we get this guy. We can't get him from now. Well, now we can because he's turned around. So we're just going to tranquilize him once and try and hit him again. There we go. And he is now asleep. And we can just run in and try not to be spotted by the other D-Walker. It's walking away from us, so that's all good. So we can just extract this guy. Now, as, as I said, you need the uh, wormhole Fulton device to be able to extract these containers. They are precious materials or minerals or metals. Um, and we are just going to extract all three of them. Once you've extracted all three of them, you will get the uh, mission task guaranteed, pretty much. Um, I had to extract all three of them to get it. I don't think it's just one. I'm pretty sure you have to extract three all three of them to be get this uh, mission task now we're just going to take this guy out there and then you also got to watch out for the camera so make sure the camera doesn't spot him lying on the ground because otherwise they'll be like oh someone's something's odd happening uh, but because we take out the camera that's also going to alert them to something odd being happening so someone is going to have to go and investigate that as long as you can tell who's going to investigate it, this guy is going to be the one down in front of the building because you can see his triangle is blinking. So that means that he is alerted to something. So he is the one that is going to come and investigate and so we are just going to have to get rid of him as well. So we're just going to wait for him to get close enough so that we can tranquilize him. One, two, two body shots and he is down. We're just going to get rid of them by extracting them so that there's no bodies and then there are no people that are just going to wake up. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get S rank during this playthrough. It is pretty frustrating for me. I felt like, oh man, but then it's kind of really hard to get S rank in this one. I don't even know if you can get S rank as well as, you know, doing all of the mission tasks because some of these missions, like this conversation one, just takes so long to go through. You just lose so many points just listening to all the conversations. Maybe if you get perfect stealth and also no reflexes, you might have get enough. Uh, now what we're doing is we're just waiting for the last conversation to take place. We've taken out the guys that are going to be walking around this area and so now we can listen to it all uh, without being spotted. So here we go. You can listen to it now. So there we go, that will give you all of the conversations and unfortunately this guy ended up spotting me so I will not get the no reflexes and then it's really hard later on to get the no reflexes because we are now going to blow up the helicopter. The helicopter is now basically landed, it is just hovering right here. So what we're going to be doing is we're just going to get make sure this guy is uh, tranquilized and we are going to place a bit of C4 underneath the helicopter. This is going to allow us to blow it up very easily. So we just blow that up and the helicopter is now destroyed and we can then go and pick up the, um, what's it called, the blueprint that is just there. Unfortunately D-Dog did get hurt by that explosion so he is now being pulled out of the area and so what we're going to do is we're just going to pick up the blueprints and then we are going to have to extract these guys. So this will count as eliminating the CFA official and extracting him. And so what we're going to do is we tranquilize him. This guy's going to see me, so we're going to have to tranquilize him as well. Because he is looking right at me. And then we are going to also get the arms dealer who is just going to be hiding in here because of all the explosions. 
So now that we've got that, we can just extract this guy from here because we've got the fault, a wormhole halting device. Easily get him from inside. And then we need, just need to extract the CFA official. And that will be all the mission tasks for us to complete. So this guy is also a bit curious about what's happening. So we're going to take him out and extract this guy. And that is all the mission tasks complete. So once that has happened, so as you can see, CFA official just waited for that to finish and now it's all finished there we go we've got all the mission tasks so now we just have to get out of here so what we're going to do is we're going to head this way you can head through this gate easy enough it's not locked there is another gate that you have to get through and it is locked because it's heading towards the outside and there may be a guy over here depending on when you come past here that may spot you so what we're going to do is we're going to turn around and get him so now we can get out of here without being spotted so now we can just unlock this. Remember pressing triangle, tapping triangle will make it unlock faster or Y. Tapping Y will make it unlock faster depending on what platform you're playing on. And now we just have to get out of the mission, the hot zone. So we just have to just keep running in this direction. It is the quickest way out of the hot zone from where we were. So what we're going to do, as soon as we exit out of that, you'll be able to see the scoreboard and all that sort of stuff. I don't get S rank, as I said before, we only get an A rank. Uh, it's actually very hard to S rank it and get all the mission tasks, just because of how long it takes to listen to all those conversations. So there we go. That is complete, and now we should see it right there. And we do lose a little bit for D-Dog because of the fact we hurt him and basically killed him. So there we go. A rank and that's all we're gonna do for this video so thank you guys for watching hope you've enjoyed it hopefully you guys have now got all of the mission tasks and now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls and hopefully see you in the next video